What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So there's been a lot of talks from Democrats that they're trying to get something done. They are requesting more help for seniors and people on fixed incomes. They wanna make sure that the, the people that have been impacted the most and those are the, the individuals with you know, very low incomes that they're gonna see something, some additional form of stimulus or relief. And so I wanna talk about where we're, we're currently at with uh, really social security assistance, uh, stuff for those that are receiving very low incomes uh, and what we could see in the future. So right now, I've, I've been reading all of the comments, I've been seeing a lot of people are still asking, what about us? What about seniors? What about people on SSI and SSDI? Are we gonna receive anything? Well, I want to address that. Because right now, Democrats aren't happy. Democrats worry that by not passing at least parts of the Build Back Better Act, it's actually going to cost them in the midterm elections that are coming up later on this year. They worry that their constituents won't believe anything that they say moving forward if they can't get parts of their promises through. They also say that President Biden promised student debt forgiveness and $200 a month for Social Security recipients. And these were missed opportunities and they're costing them. And you guys bring this up all the time is, what about the promise of $200 per month? What about that? Well, at this time, that promise is pretty much dead. There is nothing happening there because according to reports, if President Biden were to push for additional uh, relief to people on Social Security, what's gonna happen is that's gonna make the Social Security um, fund it's going to become insolvent much sooner because even though we're going to pass additional relief to people on social security there's no additional taxes or revenue coming in and that's creating a cause for concern now many people are still wondering if when and why is president biden still working with republicans when right now he's trying to achieve bipartisanship but it's very clear that this isn't going to happen and so they want to know why is he still trying to do this and when is he going to pretty much make a, all right, this is it. That's the end. It's not working. Let's try something new. So we're going to see what happens moving forward. But here's why Democrats are not just upset with President Biden. Now they're pushing their attention and their focus on the IRS because Democrats are extremely unpleased with the IRS right now. They are actually urging the IRS to move faster get more tax returns processed at a faster rate. Now, one thing that we know is that right now the IRS has something that they call a surge team. Now, they're also canceling their plans to close the tax processing center in Austin, Texas. And the purpose behind these two moves is really very simple. They want to address the backlog of tax returns first, of paper tax returns then move the surge team over to the current unprocessed tax returns and hopefully get these pushed through even much faster. Now, here's why this is so important. According to recent reports, what happens, because the IRS says everybody should e-file if they can. Now, there's, there's certain people that can't e-file if you live out of the country, um, if your, your spouse is behind on you know, child support or gotta pay back taxes, and there's, a, there's a whole list. But one of the most common reasons why people file a paper tax return is very simple. Their e-file keeps on getting rejected. Now, who has the most trouble with e-file? The, 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 the group that does is usually seniors people that aren't as computer literate as others. Now, it doesn't mean they don't know how to use it, they just don't understand all the different, the things that you can do on it or you know, scanning documents or, or anything like that, inputting different numbers, right? And some, it, it's a cause for concern because they aren't able to e-file, so they have to paper file, which means that all these seniors and people on fixed incomes that could have money coming back to them could still be waiting on a on a stimulus check from 2020 or 2021, they may not be getting these. They may not be getting this money because it's still waiting because they didn't e-file. And so this leads us to where we are now. In 2021, there's many deductions that seniors can take. Many, many seniors 
they had deductions for uh, personal protective equipment, right? This, this is one of the big things that you can deduct this. Um, there's also tax credits for low-income seniors. There's a bigger standard deduction. There's child tax credit payments. If, uh, if somebody on Social Security or a senior is taking care of a child, right, that's included. Uh, there's child care credits. There, there's a lot of things here. There, there's much more than just what I discussed. But Democrats have been pushing the IRS for some time to get more people to get more people on this current tax return issue because the American people need them. Now, for millions of Americans, they are relying on this money, on the tax returns, to pretty much pay for basic living expenses. And we've seen this in the past that what we are getting from the federal government is just too slow. It's not enough. It's not helping like it should. Now, I've been addressing this for the past uh, few weeks that what we're seeing right now is many states are actually offering things like stimulus checks uh, and you know tax credits to lower income residents. And we've seen a few states uh, or just recently offer child tax credit refunds for families with lower incomes as well. But here's the key. This money is a one-time payment and it's not gonna go to all seniors. It's not gonna go to everybody on social security. It's This is gonna create issues. And I want to touch on one other thing really quick. And this is what happens with the issue involving Ukraine and Russia. And I want to touch on this because I got a couple questions earlier. And people were, were adamantly concerned. What should they expect? Here's what I can tell you. Multiple experts worry that any rise in tensions in Ukraine and Russia will likely cause people on a fix, fixed income to struggle even more. Because we know, uh, just in past history, that if the US is to get involved in some type of issue, especially something like this, gas prices are going to increase. We know utility payments are going to increase even more. Uh, food is gonna become more expensive. Medication is gonna go through the roof as well. And that's gonna be a huge cause for concern for a few reasons. What do seniors spend their money on? They spend it on you know, rent or housing. They spend it on a little bit of gas and transportation, but it's mainly utilities is a big one. Food is a huge one and medications is the next. So everything that, that seniors spend their money on is likely to go up, be more expensive. Vacations, retail, uh, you know, spending, retail, uh, you know, costs, those things, they're not going to go up that much, if at all. But those aren't things that seniors spend their money on. Seniors are spending their money on utilities, right? Rent and, and just keeping a home, food and medications. Those are the big things. And that's what many experts are worried about right now is if we don't get this under control, we don't get our inflation under control, we don't figure out what's going to happen with this Russia and Ukraine uh, issue, which just to give you a, a little bit of a heads up, we know Russia and China, you know, we, we know that they have a, a pretty good friendship. Well, here's the issue. China is currently hosting the Olympics. Okay. Well, when the Olympics are done, which is this Sunday, what we've been hearing for the past week is Russia is potentially gonna wait until after the Olympics to invade. And the reason for that is because uh, Vladimir Putin doesn't wanna create any issues with trying to uh, you know, outstage or overstage China and what they are currently doing because Sunday is the end of the Olympics. So here's what I can tell you. If we see an invasion, it could happen after Sunday. Maybe Sunday when the Olympics are over, possibly Monday, right? And so if that's what we see, expect things to change very quickly. I don't know what we're gonna see more out of our out of Democrats right now, but what I can tell you is they are trying to push for more. They do wanna see more help for seniors. They do wanna see more help for lower income families. But at the same time, they just don't have the support, they don't have that backing because of all the other issues that are going on right now, okay? So I'm getting a lot of questions about what else is there for us. And right now, 
I wish I had better news, but I just wanted to fill you in on this update because I know a lot of people have been asking. So if you guys got any other questions, let me know. You can always ask your questions down in the comment section below. Just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday. Have an incredible weekend this weekend as well. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next one.